I'm a dermatologist. I'm not a cardiologist, but when it comes to nutrition, I know my stuff. Okay. Or at least I think I do. I would love a cardiologist to comment on this. Everybody is mad about the food pyramid being flipped upside down. And one of the biggest issues that I hear is that, oh my gosh, we're all going to get high LDL and we're all going to die. Okay. Disclaimer. If you have a sky high LDL, I'm not saying quit your statin and ignore your cardiologist. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is it is a very obtuse way of looking at it by just focusing on your LDL-C, right? Your LDL-C is the big benchmark that we have historically been checking. I'm a cardiologist. I'm Dr. Allo. I wrote the lipid and cholesterol textbook. So I appreciate everyone talking about cholesterol now and everyone is super excited and motivated to talk about it. Um, so first of all, go follow Dr. Brown. She's a dermatologist, been following her for a while. She's fantastic. Um, you're right, LDL cholesterol, um, is not the only thing we look at. As cardiologists and clinicians, we look at the entire picture, the total picture. However, LDL cholesterol in and of itself has been shown to be the causal agent of atherosclerosis. We have multiple studies now showing, and I'll put them up here, that LDL cholesterol has met the criteria for causation. There is a very strict criteria. LDL cholesterol has met. Now, this is a low-density lipoprotein, and you are right that Total particles is what actually matters, but because we haven't been measuring total particles for, for long enough, we don't have that much data. Um, this is a lipoprotein particle. If you measure low-density lipoprotein particles, that is what actually gives you your risk. You can measure ApoB, just the structural protein that, that encapsulates it, if you don't want to order an NMR and a huge test. Just order ApoB. It's super cheap. It's probably like eight bucks, maybe, if that. So I highly recommend you check an ApoB. That gives you your total LDL particles. Now, oxidation level of LDL makes no difference. They go in and out of oxidation states back and forth. That is not correlated with anything. Your body removes them right away if they're oxidated, just like anything else. Particle size does not matter. You have small ones, big ones. They're all between 18 and 24 nanometers in size. This is literally what we we're talking about here. Two LDL particles, 18 nanometers, 22, 24 nanometers. They're all about the same size. Um, and even though they can contain more cholesterol, the risk does not track with size. Um, there's been lots of studies on this, and I'll put them up here as well. But total cholesterol, whether you're measuring it as LDL cholesterol, like the actual cholesterol in the particles, or LDL particles by measuring ApoB, or whatever is actually uh, what matters. And again, I'm excited that people are actually talking about this. Um, definitely talk to your cardiologist, talk to people who know what they're talking about so they can help you. We definitely look at the total picture. We're not looking at just one little thing. But if you had to look at just one little thing, then LDL cholesterol is and should be that one little thing.